All right, and we're back with another video. This one it's about general conditioning, about hanging every day and what it will do with your life. In today's society, we spend a lot of time sitting and staring at screens, leading to a sedentary lifestyle that can cause back pain, reduced flexibility and poor posture. However, hanging is a simple exercise that can help counteract these negative effects. Many fitness experts and physical therapists now recommend hanging as an effective way to promote overall health and well-being. It's a low-impact exercise that requires no special equipment and can be modified to suit different fitness levels. Yeah, a good challenge for a day is to spend 30 minutes uh, on hanging bar. So if you can do one minute here and one minute there, I also highly recommend to get a bar inside your apartment so you have it easy accessible. The dead hang is a simple exercise that involves hanging from a bar. There are some important pointers to keep in mind when incorporating it into your routine. First, avoid jumping up and grabbing the bar midair, as this can cause swinging that may be difficult to control and could potentially lead to injury. Instead, oh, that's bullshit. Just grab the bar. I don't think this is. This is just bullshit. Ed, use a small box or weight plate to reach the bar while on your tiptoes and comfortably position your hands to prevent. I would also do my hands over my shoulders like this, so I have a clean line and not so much in this kind of position. Swinging while hanging, engage your core slightly. If you're new to the exercise, don't push yourself to hang for a full minute straight away. Instead, start by holding your position for three reps of 10 seconds each and giving yourself 30 seconds to a minute to rest between each rep. This will help you build up your strength gradually and safely. It's good to have one minute of hanging, but I also like to get more into my body and feel my body and just also listen to my body. So whenever I feel like, oh, my lower back hurts a little bit, I just go into the bar and hang a little bit. And also I like the shaking motion with the hip to really soften my body. And I'm not so much a huge fan of having strict sets and reps. It's good to build up to one minute but also just learn to listen to your body and uh, it's much, for, m much more fun that way also. Hanging is a fantastic way to achieve a full body stretch and release tension in your muscles and joints. As you hang, the weight of your body pulls on your spine, decompressing yes. your vertebrae and promoting spinal realignment. Yes. This straightforward stretch can be incredibly effective in reducing back and neck pain and improving your posture. In addition to its benefits for spinal health, Hanging can also help increase the flexibility of your shoulders, hips, and knees. It's an excellent exercise for improving balance and stability as well, making it a great addition to any workout routine. Your digestive system can also benefit from this exercise as well. When you hang, your body's in a vertical position, which can increase blood flow to your gut. This boost in circulation can improve digestion, reduce bloating, and ease constipation. Hanging helps activate your core muscles, promoting the movement of food through your intestines and aiding in digestion. Regularly incorporating this exercise into your routine can also improve the function of your liver and kidneys. By engaging these organs and promoting healthy blood flow, hanging can help support your body's natural detoxification process. Also, I recommend if you sit a lot, just every 30 minutes or one hour, just get up and uh, like for me, for example, I just uh, stand up I move my spine a little bit, my lower back, because I'm also sitting like this. And uh, yeah, maybe you can do it to one minute or two minutes and just uh, it's also nice to have a little break. Some people go out and smoke in their free time at work, but I recommend to just uh, have a little walk, move your spine a little bit. This is um, the much better version of smoking. Take five minutes instead of smoking and use your spine and move it a little bit. Processes. This simple exercise can have significant benefits for both your physical and digestive health. If your fitness goal is to perform a pull-up, dead hangs can help you progress towards achieving it. In fact, mastering dead hangs is the crucial first step towards performing a full-fledged pull-up. The dead hang serves as the starting point of a pull-up. So if you're unable to even hold your weight on the bar, it's unlikely that you'll be able to complete the full pull-up motion without some form of assistance. By consistently practicing dead hangs, you can build up your grip strength, upper body muscles, and overall body control, making it easier to progress towards performing a pull-up. While it may take time and effort, incorporating hanging into your fitness routine is a proven way to achieve your goal of performing a pull-up. 
your circulatory system also receives significant benefits from this exercise. When you I also recommend if you have really heavy back pain, you can also get a belt, a weight belt and put some weights on your hips so you have like 20, 30 kilos that also can do a lot more decompression if you have a strong enough grip. When you hang, blood flows to your upper body, increasing the blood supply to your brain. This boost in circulation can enhance concentration, focus, and reduce mental fatigue. Alongside that, hanging can improve blood flow to your arms and legs, helping to prevent blood clots and promoting overall circulation. By improving blood flow and circulation, hanging can also help to reduce inflammation in your body. This reduction in inflammation can lower your risk of developing chronic diseases, such as diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. The dead hang is a simple and effective way to promote overall circulatory health and reduce your risk in developing chronic health issues. Your forearm muscles and grip strength will receive the benefits as well. When you hang, your fingers, palms, and forearms bear your weight, which can significantly improve your grip strength. Stronger grip strength can enhance your performance in activities that require hand strength, such as rock climbing. And it also, as children, we all did it. We all went to hanging on the bars. And, uh, but when we go to school, we often suppress our instincts and then we lost it over the years when we got older. And I think it's really important to go back to the, to the foundation and um, yeah, implement it every day a little bit in your day and you will have a much healthier life without less risk of cancer and better for the blood flow. I, I really love hanging. Climbing or weightlifting. And it's also about the mindset. For me, I feel like if I just implement it as a movement tool in my life, it's much easier to uh, have it in my mind than do it saying like, okay, I have to do uh, 30 sets of this and reps and blah, blah. I don't, I, for me, this is bullshit. I just uh, like to have uh, tools and I just uh, also like to implement it in a playful manner. So just, oh, I, I hang a little bit here, I hang a little bit there, but not like, oh, I have to do now 30 sets of uh, hanging and then it's, no, I don't like it. Be playful, be light in your head and this will lead to longevity, which is really healthy. Moreover, hanging can help prevent injuries to your wrists and hands. Increased grip strength can also aid in everyday tasks. Yeah, it recorrects all your position in your wrist, in your shoulder, elbow, the spine, everything gets recorrected. Such as opening jars and carrying groceries. By incorporating hanging into your exercise routine, you can develop a stronger grip and forearm muscles, improving your overall physical capabilities and reducing your risk of injury. Hanging not only benefits your physical health, but also has a positive impact on your mood. By hanging, you release endorphins, which act as natural painkillers and promote a sense of well-being while reducing anxiety. The full body stretch achieved through hanging can help you feel relaxed. So in here, I would just rotate my hip a little bit left and right, and this will loosen up a lot in the lower back. And the sensation of being suspended can reduce stress levels. Moreover, hanging can help clear your mind and increase blood flow to your brain, promoting alertness and focus. Lastly, this exercise can improve your sleep quality, which can also have a positive impact on your mood and overall health. Although hanging is a relatively safe exercise for most people, it's essential to take some precautions. If you have any wrist, shoulder, or back injuries, it's best to consult your doctor before trying this exercise. Um, the doctor a lot of times say just, oh, here are some painkillers. And the long way and the healthy way is to implement hanging. Also, it, it's a lot for, it's a lot good for the risk and the lower back. And a lot of doctors don't also uh, know about this. And um, yeah, also have back pain because they sit a lot. When I would be a doctor, I would definitely have a pull-up bar in my practice. And then I say, patient, okay, here, try to hang a little bit. And now you try to implement this in your life. But it's also like, it brings less money, but this is a long, healthy way and um, yeah, a lot of people have to uh, get on board and um, for me, I do hang every day and it really improved my life. Also, it's important to begin with shorter periods of hanging and gradually work your way up to three minutes to prevent injury. If you enjoyed this video, you won't want to miss <laughs> three minutes. It's a lot like one minute. It, I can do one minute or two minutes, but three minutes it's, and I'm I'm good with in the physical way. 
I'm healthy and strong, but three minutes, it's a lot, a lot. And uh, yeah, I hope you got something out of this video. And anyways, thank you for watching.